To understand this question, you have to understand the difference between income elasticity of demand and cross price elasticity of demand. Now, it sounds super hard, but it's not. Just pay attention. The income elasticity of demand coefficient uses this equation. The percent change in quantity caused by a percent change in income. So if the income goes up for some product and that causes people to buy more of it, that would pop out a positive number, right? A positive number over here. Now, if the income goes down and people buy less of it, that would be a positive number again, right? Down and down means it would be positive. That means that this is a normal good. A right? normal good is when your income goes up for something and people buy more of it. What happens if this number is negative? Right? If the income goes up, but people buy less of that product. Or if the income goes down, people buy more of it. Well, it must make it an inferior good. Now, take that and apply it here. For the cross price elasticity coefficient, you're using this equation. Right? If the percent change in the price of product B and how it affects the percent change in the quantity of a different product, product A. Now, if the price goes up for product B, and people buy more of product A, that means that this must be a positive number. A positive number, that means that these are substitutes. Which makes sense, right? The price goes up for Pepsi, people are going to increase their quantity for a different substitute product, Coke. What happens if the price goes up for a product, and that causes a decrease in the quantity of a different product? Well, that means they must be complements. So if the price goes up for milk, that'll decrease the quantity of cereal people are buying. Now the point is, the test might not give you whether a products are substitutes or complements or normal or inferior. They might just give you the elasticity coefficients. So you have to be able to understand what it means to be positive or negative. Now in this question, since there's a negative cross price elasticity coefficient, these two products are complements. And so an increase in the price of one will decrease the demand for the other. 